today we have got a fabrication situation now like I said we want to take our B unit and get power to it and we're going to use that we're going to put some wires between our locomotives so that the B unit actually provides pickup from the track now this here is the truck the pickup truck from the newer A unit inside here you can see there are some little copper wipers and they rub up against the wheels connected to these wires that go into the motor you can see on the bottom here there's a little dot of solder and all they are just a simple strip of copper with a tab on it the B unit which was dummy has the same truck it's already set up it just does not have the wipers so we need to make some and to do that I've got here this roll of copper I got at Hobby Lobby it's called create with metal I think it was 40 bucks it's roughly it's a lifetime supply of copper so I'm going to take this out it cuts really easy open up a piece here take my scissors this is just a simple metal cutting scissors and I'm going to cut off just a strip that should be all we need and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to duplicate the wipers that are in this. I've already made one. It's that easy. It's that simple. The only thing we got to do, first, let's go ahead and let's uh, cut it to length. We're going to cut it longer than what we need. I have here a scribing pencil. It's got a metal tip on it. It makes a mark on metal. Okay, so let's uh, line this up about truck length, about like that. Let's make a scribe, and you'll see why we want it longer in a second. Okay, I want it roughly. I just eyeballed this before. I want it pretty thin. But I have to make it as wide as that tab, and then I'll cut it out to make the tab. All right, so what we want to do, I might make this tab just to, well, it was about right. So I'm just going to line this up on here like so. And so if you if you have to make a first one, what you would do is you would make it extra long and then cut off the tab to fit in here when you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and eyeball this. It looks like it's gonna be half, so I'm just cut this thing in half. And I'll get two out of this one. Now I've already made one, and I need a total of four, so I, I need to make three of these. Alright, now, what I did was I matched up to the bottom, and there is a very hard to see slot in here. The tab comes down through this slot and gets bent over, and looks like that. So I need to make my tab to fit between this little spot here. And that is, that's really not that hard. And it doesn't take a bunch of tools and things. It, uh, you know, you could use a Sharpie to do this. But I'm going to go off the one I already made. Oh, well, actually, I'm going to show you how I made the first one. 
Okay, so put this on here. Just roughly held it in there. Okay. And I see the slot. Make the mark there. Make the mark there. And this makes a very fine mark, but you'll be able to see it. And I'm going to go ahead and make a snip. Without trying to cut all the way through this and cut it off and have to start over. Carefully make a snip. Then with the other tab, other side, and carefully make a snip. Okay, I've got to be careful to start the bend. I don't want it to get too thin. Ooh, that's a, it's a close one. It might be kind of thin. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut up to the tab. Without cutting off the tab. Okay, one. Don't worry if it curls up. We can fix that later. Come over here and just flip it over. Okay. Now I have this. I'm going to check it. Will it fit? Because the way this thing gets loaded is from the top and you press the tab down into the slot and if it if it fits if it fits in here which this one might be a little too wide if this thing fits all the way through it's going to be just on the wide side let's see if we got it a little jeweler snipper here. A little tiny side cutter that I got. I think at like Michael's or somewhere there they sell these jewelry making tools, which are quite handy to have. Okay. There, I, I just shaved it down a tiny bit. Let's see if I can fit it down in here. Alright, now if you can see this, if you can see this. Can you see that? It came through. Right there. That means I'm good. Now what I can do, I'll take my scissors and I will cut it off. Oh, here comes the train. Now I've got this. And I should be able to seat that down in there pretty good which I can there's just enough now to when it's time to solder the wires to it I will bend this tab down and I'll put a dot of solder on it just like in this one and that's all there is to it make two more and we've got ourselves a pair of powered trucks